we're here at the bins. It's been a little while since I've been here. I have been a little sick fish, a little sickly. Ooh, let's just take this car. So I have not made it out here in a little while, but I have a mask and my water and hopefully I will survive. We're here to see what kind of things we can find. Hopefully lots of great treasures. And I hope you're ready. So here is to hoping we find lots of good things. Let's go in, see what we can find. I was planning on coming yesterday, um, but I was a little too sick still. A little too Tacky. Um, but I'm doing pretty good today. I'm not contagious or anything. I just sound terrible. Um, but it was probably good anyway because yesterday was a holiday. And I bet it was insanity in here. I have no doubts. It was probably crazy. So we're here. even though it might not be the day we wanted. I'm still thinking we're gonna find some decent things. After I'm done here, go to my regular Goodwill. We'll see. We'll see how deftly I'm feeling. But after a week, I am just ready to get back to normal, normal things. Just sitting around business, waiting to feel better. I don't have the patience. Muto. I don't know if his clothing does super well. Sweater. I think I have some Vince Camuto clothing and it's a very slow sell. look that up. It looks like a vintage REI. I might take a look at that.
It looks vintage. But would people want a sweater that says Whistler Blackcomb Canada? That's the question. Like a good tin. Might get the Papa Pig house. up grumpy cat. We'll check him out.
nice case, actually. What are these? There's no marks on them. But you like measure. Has the quartz on the inside. Okay, I probably said that terribly. Actually, it's in pretty decent shape for being in the bins. Okay, I'm gonna look up a few things of what I got so far, and I'll probably look up Paul, see how he's doing, and I will be right back. Okay, we put Grumpy Cat back. Those were about 12-ish used. He's so cute though. Look at him. And Paul goes for decent. You could probably get at least a hundred. Um, but I just don't want to deal with something so massive, to be honest. So hopefully Paul finds a good local home. And I did keep all of this stuff, which I will go over at the end of the video. All the things I keep. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I am still uh, slightly dying, but you know, so it goes. Gostina. Oh, a candle snuffer. It's kind of cute.
gosh, this is taking way too long. Just tell me who you are. a nice print. Super dirty though. What are you? Ma'am, you forgot some money in your pockets. You got any more money in here? Okay. Thank you for the $10. These are actually kind of decent pants. They are just from Kohl's. Simply Vera Vera Wang. But they are 14 which is a good size. Hmm. I actually might get those. Hey, when the bins pays you. And remember, check your pockets before you donate. I'm actually surprised I found money because that is purely what some people do. It's just go through pockets. Like they don't really look to buy anything. They just literally go through pockets of clothing, purses to find cash. And I mean, it must work because that is literally all they do. But hey, look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Kind of smells like pee. I'm not a fan of the pee smells. Okay, let's head to another area. What is this? A wig cap. Okay, moving on. Take a little quick look at the shoes. Are kind of nice halogen. Oh, I might get those. Um, I picked up a few more clothes. I'm gonna look up or just get um, a few pairs of jeans.
another one. They're size 11 too, which is a nice size. I think I will get those. These were from Play-Doh's Closet. Tahari, like a suede. I wonder if it's the same person, because these look like probably an 11. Mm, I think I'll leave those. Aldo. Got a hunter, a pair of hunter boots back there. Quite well used. Oh, I think this brand is relatively expensive. Paola. Paolo. Oh, it's cute. It has like a little bow. of Sam Edelman's. Where's the other? Clark. Okay, I might get these. Incline. These are just so small. Size six. I think I'm kind of at the point with shoes if they require a lot of attention, like cleaning and scraping and this and that, that I just, I pass them. Someone else can use them or get them. But if it takes me like a half hour to clean a pair of shoes, I just, I'd rather not at this point. I just have so much. I'm gonna look at this brand, very volatile. Look at that. Uh, so yeah, I do pass on a decent amount of shoes, but it's just when you have such a high volume of stuff you go through, you kind of have to be picky or else you get inundated. Okay, I don't think I saw that Sam. Edelman. I don't know what that says. Um, so I'll probably throw that one back. Um, I'm gonna look up these and look up these and then I think I'm going to go to the back. Work my way forward. You know the drill. Anyways, let's look up a few things and we'll go from there. Okay, I have not made it to the back. I know, it's a big shocker, but sometimes when you're just walking by stuff, um, I picked up these, I don't know if they're good, B52 by Bull Boxer. They look like nice dress shoes, and then there's these Johnson Murphys, which is also a high-end brand. 11 and a half. Pretty good shape. Um some rub on the inside, especially on this one. I might leave that. It 
this is not a toy. Looks like a little shelf sitter. Bunny. It's very cute. Little garden bunny. I think it might be made to be outside. It has like the clothing for an outdoor bunny. Department 56, what does it go to? Oh, here's more. Is that a uh, Goodwill? The regular one? I feel I did. I like a good five star. I might get that. Hands are made from pipe cleaners. I I don't know. Two thousand three. I have no idea what it is, but it is vintage.
looking into that. I will look into it. I'm gonna look up those shoes um, and that Star Wars thing. And then I found this hat too when I was going through some clothes. Raffaello Bettini, made in Italy. Needs a good um, lint rolling, but um, I'm gonna look a few things up and I will be right back. Okay, we are leaving behind. It's a game, evidently, Star Wars game. It go, I can go for like. 10 to 12 if working and I have no idea if it works so I'm leaving that um these can go for maybe 25 ish but I just don't feel like it to be honest and they're not leather they are like a faux faux leather so I'm leaving behind the b52s but they just brought out some new bins So I'm going to check on those. Oh, I thought he was holding this basket. It probably could be. Fun print, it's like art, but it is not branded anything. You could probably do a Google image to find out what it is, but eh. Are these priced from Goodwill or who priced these? That's a nice, um, what is it called? Lusterware? I don't think this is from Goodwill. I think this is from a, um, what's it called? Estate sale.
this one isn't with those and it's missing its little lid. Did you like me cleaned out? That's fun. Let's get that. Ooh, these are fun too. I'm just gonna get two of those. I kind of like that too. Got a lot of glass. We're getting a lot of glass. like an extra long, I don't know. We'll see about that. something silver. That's a cute uh, napkin holder. Wrapped. I might unwrap them and see what they look like. Hold on. Okay, I couldn't fully get it out, but it is a painted wine glass. That's a cute one. Maybe get to that. We got a little another one. Probably gonna have to rearrange that at some point. Oh my god! These are little um, pop, 
pop what are they called pop something uh let me see if i can get them all in one spot in this over the bottom of the bin. them all over the place. Okay, I might just go through so you all don't have to watch me pick through all of it. And then I will be back on after I do all of my collecting. So I will be back. Okay, I think I gathered them all. I dug. I dug, I dug. International Silver Company. they brought out so we'll go look at those vintage Tupperware I don't know does vintage Tupperware do well anymore I don't know it's hard to keep up on it all you know
of these. Cute, but it is uber chipped. Countryside frame, eight by ten, and it is heavy. Calico kitten. Might get that, maybe. Mary's Moo Moo's. Yeah, it was very interesting. It's just one of one, right? I think so. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Good finds. Romex. It's kind of a nice mug. Oh, I've seen that before. the bottom. A little music box piece. Made 
in China. Interesting. Hmm. I will get that. Japan. Like a hand painted vegetable bowl. crazy that it's still in the original package. Santa musical toothbrush and brush your teeth. Oh, made by Avon. Um, that's hilarious. Put that back in there. Candle garden. Okay, we'll just leave that. Oh, she looks very excited about life. That's vintage. I don't think it's vintage. That's cute. Oh, very cute. Lots of bagel. Okay, I'm gonna look up a few things and just put some stuff back while I'm right here. Um, because yeah, I just kind of threw a whole bunch of stuff in here, so I'm gonna look up a few things and I will be back. Okay, we are putting back the Chromex, I think it's called plate, I think it might have something that goes here. Anyways, it doesn't sell for that much. 
putting back this wallet. Delilah doesn't sell for much. And also this bro photo. Um, I kept everything else. So I'll look at my poor horse's head falling out of the car. Good lord. Um, I'm gonna head to the back finally. I've been saying that here for uh, quite a while. But we're gonna head to the back now. And see what we can find in the back. Oh, I'm already distracted. It's a fender. I might get that. Okay, we're going to the back now. Focus, focus, focus. This in my cart it sounds kind of like there's like parts wobbling around in there so I don't know about that to be a lid for that. Okay, I didn't make it to the back. I am just failing miserably. But you know, you just see something and then here we are. This is vintage, not used. in Kenya. I have a bunch of these at home. Might get him. His uh, other antler is broken so we won't get him. But we shall get to that. Uh, I think I might go around the other side with my cart. Oh, should I get some of these? Maybe I'll get two. I can't remember if they're good or not. Our cart's looking like a, a quite the collage of goodies. Um, I saw a Rue Disney store. Are you old, Rue? Ooh, that's broken. 
Some of the rem remotes can do really well, too. But I know nothing about remotes. Mm -hmm. I love a good sewing box. I have, like... Two I'm trying to sell already, so I probably should not be getting any more, but here we are. Just like a little funny. Man. I'll get this if I can't find another one. We'll see. Ski shoes made in Brazil. Pig house. Uh. That is also vintage. Well, 
I'll get to the back one of these days. It's kind of cute. Painted in the pond. See the nice plate. some of these. the other parts of that. Looks like there's another part of that. But I don't know where they are.
Franciscan. Is there more? This is probably, it looks the same. Ooh, this is Franciscan. A little butter dish. Hello, purses. Hello, handbags. Hello, handbags. <laughs> you know, that's pretty close, so. All right, we are making our way to the back. I've pretty much been saying that since the beginning of the video, but we're still making the effort to get back there. <clears throat> My cart is getting a little insanity, but wow, I cannot believe some of the stuff I found today. It's been a crazy day. Those are nice luckies. Let's get those. Bunch of bedding. This might be something good. AKA maybe Pendleton? Maybe. I don't know, it's a mystery. Oh. Is that where the tag was? God, this is adorable. Just a little overnight bag. Tommy Ho figure. What is this? Oh my Atlanta, this is amazing. It's like a crazy bright sequiny shawl thingy. Uh yes. Um yes please. Gosh. I don't know if these are worth getting. <clears throat> it's like someone's fan collection. I don't know. I'll look some stuff up when I'm about ready to go. Weed through some of it. Oh, 
has a lot of moss holes. is 16 cut from the cloth like it's hit and miss for me sometimes they sell really well and then sometimes it just takes like forever for them to sell i'm trying to see if this is vintage I think it might be. Might get that. Okay. Dollar twenty five. Los Angeles pottery. in that one. Oopsie. Hmm. 
look at that. $19.99. They uh, framed it. Pyrex, but it has been worn off. Head is cracked. Are these older? This is 2019. Oh my gosh. It's not crazed, but it's also not marked. Hmm. I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> I'm running out of room. What happened to his eyes? I think these ones are worth something that are signed on their butt like this. I have to double check. Gotta double check about her. What kind of battery?
Gun to Beatrix Potter. I don't know if she's special, but I'll check. Oh, please go with this. there should be more parts to this. Ooh, I've sold one of these little lipstick holders. Those little gobblers are or head feathers. Are a little sad. You know what I'm talking about. made in USA. It is um, vintage. We'll see about the Hulk. That's cute. I don't know it's Lacombe or whatever you you say it. Oh, they're gonna take these. Gotta do a quick little look. look. How am I finding so much today? Like, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, it's a little, um, what do you call it? Box you wrap something in?
a Prezi box. Lord Nelson Pottery, handcrafted in England. Sir Harry Hotspur Percy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look up some things. My cart is exploding, but I am going to look some stuff up and I will be right back. All right, it was a two carter day at Goodwill, which means this will be a two part video. You will have to come back to see all of the stuff I ended up getting. I'll give you a little sneak preview. This is all my glass, and I did end up paying $19 for all of that, and my lamp, I only paid 70 cents. And then this is all of my hard goods, clothes, shoes, anything that's not breakable, all of that. So I had to split it in two. It was just so much stuff. But hopefully you guys all had a good time on part one, and I hope to see you back on part two. All right, see ya.